taking the witness stand on Monday in her own defense, telling jurors her life story, detailing a very difficult, often bizarre childhood, and then flat out admitting, I did it. Did you kill Travis Alexander on June 4th, 2008? Yes, I did. Here now, Arthur Idala, Fox News legal analyst, former prosecutor, and criminal defense attorney Jeff Gold. Gentlemen, good to see you. Jeff, let me start with you because, as I understand it, you were actually inside the courtroom for some of the defense uh, over several days. So, what's your take on this? Well, yes, I was there all last week, uh, and, you know, there was some testimony that was good for the defense. Her uh, former live-in <laughs> lover named Brewer gave very uh, heartwarming testimony uh, that seemed to humanize her. It was the only time I saw the jury actually looking at Jody as if maybe she was a human being. But, boy, I'll tell you, her testimony yesterday did her no good. Not only was she uh, robotic, she seemed like a psychopath to me, somebody who could coldly right. say, yes, I killed him, as, as if she was a robot. Uh, I don't think yesterday uh, helped her. I don't know if today will be any better. You know, Arthur, she admittedly lied so many times to police. I mean, that prosecutors are just going to have a field day with that on cross X, right? Yeah, I mean, look, the rule of thumb is if you have to put your defendant on the stand, it's usually a desperation move. You never, as, as a criminal defense attorney, the last thing you want to do is have your defendant testify because it opens up such a can of worms for everything else. And here, the can of worms is tremendous. However, what are you going to do? The evidence is overwhelming that she did it. She has to admit that she does it. You're hoping, Greg, you're hoping for two jurors, just two, who can then stick together yeah. in, the, in the deliberation room and say, we're not ready to kill this woman. We don't know. She had such a bad upbringing. Our sympathy overwhelms our sense of justice, and we're going to find her not guilty. It's a hung jury, and then she lives to see another right. day. So, Jeff, her, her defense is self-defense, that she... she <laughs> He chronically abused her, yeah. uh, and that uh, at the very end, she decided that the only way she could save her own life was to kill him, a pure self-defense. But look, I mean, that's, that's a pretty tough go in a case like this, isn't it? Well, it's actually her third defense. You know, she created her first defense when she said, I don't know anything about this. Then she created her second defense when she said two intruders did it. Now, in the opening statement of the defense, surprisingly, her defense attorney gets up and gives this third defense, which is she did it, but it's self-defense. And the reason they're doing it is because when you look at the fact that the only thing they can say, perhaps, either to have a defense in a case or to save her life, it's created. And yeah. she went up there with a deadpan trying to fill in the blanks like it was really her defense. And if that's... If but that's... the things that... <clears throat> I'm sorry, Jeff, but, but if, you, if you're saying, right, if you're right, and that's how she came across as like stoic yeah. and robotic, then that's yeah, it. She's got crazy. no shot. She needs to crawl into the hearts yeah. of one or two of those hey, jurors know, and beg for this. But sympathy. let me ask you about this, Jeff. I mean, I can just yeah. hear the closing argument from the defense attorney that, uh, and using the physical evidence that she absolutely mutilated uh, the body of the yeah. victim, stabbing him 27 times. I can't even tell you the rest of this stuff. She also put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. But the defense attorney, won't he argue, look, only a horrifically traumatized woman would do this, would mutilate the body after the individual is already dead? Well, how right you are, except for one thing. Look at the kinds of things they're saying that, that, that set her off. Oh, you know, um, Travis was such a bad guy, you know, he once touched his old girlfriend's butt. Uh, he once got an erection when they were kissing, and he's, a, you know, was supposed to be a virgin. Oh, and a mom who traumatized her when she was a kid hit, wrapped her with a, a wooden spoon. I mean, my friends who went to parochial school had more punishment from their nuns <laughs> You're right than what that. she's saying caused him, right, to kill. Oh, don't start picking on Nuns. But 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 Greg, it ain't gonna work. Greg, your 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 analysis of what the argument would be by the defense is right on. You know, you should really be a lawyer, Greg. You should think about <laughs> yeah, that, law yeah. school or whatever. But yeah. um, that's what they're gonna say. If she wasn't such an abused person, if she didn't have this uh, psychological these psychological flaws, twenty seven times yeah. she wouldn't have to do it twenty seven yeah. times. So, she had a genuine fear based on her history of abuse. You know, I mean, you can look all over at some of the famous cases. O.J. Simpson didn't take the witness stand acquitted. Uh, Casey yeah. Anthony did not testify. She was acquitted here. But is it your consensus, gentlemen, that this is just a, a Hail Mary <laughs> to, to, to avoid the death penalty? It's about 
It's about the death penalty, Greg. That's what this case was about. When they decided at opening to start talking about a self-defense, she did it, but after there were two other statements that said two different defenses, that was saying, we are worried about the death penalty, and that's all we, we, we're concerned about. All right. It's what this defense has been I, all along. I, I agree wholeheartedly, and that's what I said. You never want to put your defendant on, but if you do, right. you, need, you need the sympathy factor. If you don't get it, then the Hail Mary pass was dropped. I, I just hear the crossbacks now. Uh, are you telling the truth now, or are <laughs> yeah. you lying now? Were you, Greg, you lying then? Lawyer, are you telling Greg. the truth you now? You should be a lawyer. Which is it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd love to prosecute this case with that cross-examination coming up tomorrow. All right. Arthur Idala, Jeff Gold. Good to see you Thank both. You, Thanks. Thank you, Counselor.